The, the Pacific hurricane season, it officially begins today. Welcome. Uh, the Atlantic season, it follows close behind. That's on June 1st. But at 8 a.m. Eastern this morning, the National Hurricane Center releasing its first daily tropical weather outlook of the year. What does that mean? Well, these bulletins, they're going to continue through November 30th, right? Throughout the season, we get these bulletins, each one offering those critical updates, but also expert insights from the NHC on tropical cyclone activity, but also potential storm development in both the Atlantic and Eastern Pacific basins. And every now and then, Jane, as you know, you can get one out of season. Oh, <laughs> yes, rare. you can. But every now and then you see one come out of season. But let's go ahead and take a look at how these bulletins work, right? We pay close attention to it here at Fox Weather, but anybody could really yeah. take a look at it. It is Absolutely. available to the public. Yeah. And you know, you we are gonna, you'll probably see a lot of these outlooks pretty much every day going forth yeah. here. Yeah. We're gonna always take a look at it, see what mm -hmm. we're looking at. When there's an area that the National Hurricane Center is mm -hmm. monitoring, we call that a disturbance, right? We are going to highlight that, and then you'll see these percentages put on them. And we'll, we'll be looking at this over the next five to seven days, right? Mm -hmm. The possible development mm -hmm. of uh, these outlooks. Now, they're updated four times a day at 2 a.m., 8 a.m., 2 p.m., 8 p.m. Mm -hmm. Now, there's also the intermediate, intermediate advisories. Mm -hmm. They come later into the day. So what is that? 5, 11, 5 and 11? Yeah. They're off hours, but <laughs> yeah, nonetheless, yeah. we get a lot of updates uh -huh. throughout the day. And so we look at these outlooks and we see, has anything changed? Oftentimes, these are the hours that you really want to tune in. I would say the yeah. biggest updates probably come around 8 a.m. and 2 p.m. Agreed. In yeah. the morning and into Agreed. the afternoon. Yeah. As you know, as we get, as the models update, as they continue to look at the forecast, and once we're also able to get, if you have a system, data from any of the hurricane hunters that are flying through. But noticing the color coding, so you'll start to see this, that X marking where we have a disturbance. So before it becomes anything fully formed, it's really just this area of disturbed weather. That's what X marks the spot. Mm -hmm. And then that little jelly bean of yellow, which eventually becomes orange, the color change has to do with the the confidence the odds of going odds up. going up of it developing into right. a tropical system. But that's the develop area where it would develop. Right. So that's not a cone, right? That's right. not a track. Mm -hmm. What that area highlighted is, is anywhere within that cone. Mm -hmm. oh, it's not a cone. It's not a cone. Within Jelly bean. Jelly bean. Sure. Mike I and like Ike. That. Mike and I like that too. <laughs> A storm can develop, and it mm -hmm. could be anything from a tropical depression to a tropical storm to a hurricane. Mm -hmm. um, and oftentimes, once we get into the red colors, yeah. that means, okay, we mean business. Mm -hmm. We're probably going to see something come together. And exactly. then from there, we get the invests, right? Mm -hmm. We always talk about invests, mm -hmm. 91L, mm -hmm. the designation uh, that takes us all the way to 99, and then we re return back. Yep. And L is just for the Atlantic. Yeah. Um, and that's where we just monitor this disturbance. We can get wind, pressure, and see how things are coming together. And a reminder, as it says in the upper right, this is an example.